Colin Kaepernick. Mm-hmm. I see him as a thug, and all of the other players who are kneeling during the national anthem, uh, that they are turning their backs on the flag, on the country, mm. men and women of the military, the fans. And I think they all should be fired and got and throw those SOBs out, right? Uh, do you agree with that? I don't. And why not? Well, I don't believe that anybody should be able to tell private businesses that aren't breaking the law how they need to do employee relations, right? So if I were to come in here and say, I don't know what kind of you know, fiduciary relationship you have to the people in this room, maybe, maybe they're employees. Uh, if I were the government and you weren't doing anything illegal with them, and I said, you got to fire these two, and I got two other, other people you have. You're a private business. You can do, you, as long as you're not breaking the law, you can do whatever you want. Right. So I don't know of any legal basis on which the NFL or the, it's really the teams individually that are the employers. I don't know how we justify having them fire players. I mean, it just Do we, the sense. taxpayer, give money to uh, the uh, NBA? I thought we were talking about football. Right, uh, NFL, whatever it's called. Doesn't football. even matter, right? right? This is just, Sports you're trying theory. to get this point on the record. Do, yeah. do we give money to them? They're, as, as, as consumers or as taxpayers? taxpayers? Well, there are some stadiums that are uh, built with taxpayer money right. in and exchange for the amount of biz tax revenue that they bring to the city. Right, and so is that government involvement? It's government involvement, yeah. And so shouldn't the government have, some, have something to say about it then? No. Because you wouldn't apply that to any of, other business. It's no. not 100% private owned. So we do have something to say about it, right? Can I give you a counter no, uh, example? That first, first. We, there is not, and I'll tell you why if you allow me. Um, if you have a private business and you pay into the state's unemployment insurance, the government is now involved with your business. Does that mean they can come in and tell you what to do? No. But if it's I a have a private argument. business and I'm paying into it, well, private we businesses paying, pay into we, unemployment I, I, insurance. I'm a yeah. taxpayer. My money is going to the government and it's being given to the yeah. football teams or, or association, right? So I have something to say about it. This isn't but my that, argument. I'm just telling you that's not the way it works legally. Let's go back to that, though. So you don't think it's wrong to turn your back on the country? That Because if it wasn't for football, there would be no calling cabinet. And most of these black players, there would be. Uh, who are rats? They'll be thugs. They'll be in jail. And so That's not a good why argument, not though. turn, why do we have to put up with these thugs? Turn you don't have to. Like That's, that. You can say I'm not going to go should to any more fired? football games. No, there shouldn't be. There's no should legal the basis to fire them. fans stop supporting? That's up to the fans. Would you recommend that? No. You would not. And why not? I just don't see why anyone would do that. Um, and so you're happy with them doing this? You, you think it's okay? I, I support the First Amendment and free speech. But not at work. Sure. You can't do that at work. The, the teams if can decide. If my employee did that at work, I would fire them so fast right. and make their heads swim. But that's your call if that's in your employee handbook. But shouldn't they do that? It's up to the teams. Okay. I got to ask you about Kanye West. Um, what do you think about Kanye West, his relationship with the president, and all the things that are happening around him right now? Uh, I've never liked his music. I think he has significant mental illness. It appears that he's off his medicine, and I've never heard him say anything particularly interesting. So you see him the way I see Ford, Christine Ford. I'm not sure. It looked as though she left her medication at home, too. I, I wouldn't be able to say. Yeah, but how come you can't see she's mentally off, or appears to be mentally off, but you think that Kanye West is mentally off? Just didn't see it that way. Why not? That's my perception. What has he done to give you that impression? Uh, his, I mean, did you see the video of him in the Oval Office? Yes. Um, I'm not a mental health professional, but the mental health professionals I've spoken to, including many in my family, identified that he seemed uh, manic, uh, bipolar, and generally off. And he did say, at some point, I think he said something about being off his medication. So I think it's pretty widely established. What did he do to imply that? Those things about I, I just him? told you. Right, you say he seemed that way, but what was he doing to imply that? Uh, again, his manic nature, his uh, inability to sort of sit still, have a normal conversation, swearing in the Oval Office, looking around very anxiously, nervously, saying things that don't make sense, saying slavery was a choice. I mean, you know. Would, so you thought that slavery was a choice, was a don't make sense comment? I thought it was inaccurate. Really? Why? Because um, slavery is not a choice. Amazing. Um, do you agree with him that he, as a black man, and black people should be free thinkers. Of course. They should not be on the plantation of the Democratic Party. I disagree with that framing. They along with the okie doke. I, regardless of the race of people, they should be free thinkers. Right. 
And so you agree with him when he said that? I don't agree with the characterization about plantations. Why not? Because I just think it's nonsense. But I do agree that everybody, regardless of race, should be a free yeah. thinker. And so black people, not all, not all, not all, but most have been on the plantation for over 40 or 50 years now. What do you mean? Uh, of the Democratic uh, uh, Party. And they don't think for themselves. And whenever the Democrats want a vote, they mm -hmm. need the black vote, they just cry racism. Do you and speak the, for black people? And the black people go into a trance. And they go in and they just, yeah. they, they, they reach for the D while eating chicken. And Let they, me suggest to you that it's not press, that way. And they press, no, it is that way. Well, can I, are you open so, to hearing why yeah, I don't think I, so? I am, but let me okay. finish this. Good. So isn't that a plantation? Hillary Clinton, when she wants the black vote, mm. she goes to the churches, black churches. Sure. I don't feel no ways tar. I feel like going on. And the black go, yeah, praise the Lord, mm. praise the Lord. Okay. And so, okay, we got to vote next month. Yep. And they go into that trance. Here's vote. why I don't isn't think. That a, isn't that a, a plantation mentality? Okay, so you've given us one example. Can is I give that, you a counterpoint? Is that a plantation mentality? I don't know that particular example, but let me explain to you why I don't think that, um, that black Americans are so-called in the tank for the Democratic Party. Um, when Proposition 8 came up here in California, right. um, Democrats almost exclusively supported um, legalizing gay marriage or banning the outlawing of gay marriage. Right. Uh, although black Americans in California tend to vote with Democrats, right. on that issue they didn't. Right. And to me that says they're not voting for Democrats because Democrats have in some way co-opted them because as soon as there was an issue that they disagreed with Democrats on, they voted the other way. Well, at that time, they did believe they had some sense of values. They had their own but beliefs. But they've yeah. been corrupt since that time. No, their view might and have I, changed. And on I that guarantee issue. you, if they went now and voted for, and asked them to vote for, they'll go with the homosexuals. I hope so. And the Democratic Party I because so. they have been morally bankrupt. I, well, the, I disagree with that. The radical homosexuals have gotten in there and they corrupt the churches, mm. and they have given money to the preachers, black preachers, and so now. So what you're doing in, in values yeah. have changed. So you probably get them going along. I with think it. you're right, but what you're doing is called a special pleading in terms of logical fallacies. You made an umbrella statement, and I gave you a counterexample, which would disprove it. And then you introduced some new reason why that's not a good counterexample. At that time, they were not as corrupt as they are today. There's no evidence but of that. Though. The, the radical homosexuals saw that happen. They're like, "Oh no, we cannot have this." And so whenever they want to get the, the radical homosexuals and mm. Black Lives Matter, all those the abortion people, uh, the uh, National Organization of Women Who Hate Men. What makes, it, what makes a homosexual radical? That, whenever they want to get their radical agenda across, yeah. what they've sharply done is they say, oh, this is racism. Mm. Just like the black people, you're discriminating against us, right? What does racism so have to do with the Prop 8 hear that, This is incoherent, they, though. The black people hear that, they say, oh, these people love us, so we're going to vote with them. That's what they have done to most blacks. Fears so, of racism made black people vote against Prop 8? Is that what you're saying? No, the, at that time, they were yeah. not in support of, they knew that homosexuality or same-sex marriage was wrong. Okay. Because they still had some sense of value at that time. But they lost that That sense. has changed, yes. Mm. For the most part. Wow. No, 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 no. It's coming back, though, thanks to the great white hope. 